Praise God. Welcome to our spiritual breakfast. Today I want us to look the the shortest way to claim our blessings, the shortest way that God can bless you. Uh, please go with me to the book of uh, Deuteronomy, there chapter 28. Uh, we shall look very briefly uh, various verses here from chapter 1 all the way to chapter 5. And I know that you are going to be blessed together. Uh, first one, the Bible says that if you will listen diligently to the voice of the Lord your God, be watchful to do all his commandment which I command you this day. The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you heed the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall be you in the city, and blessed shall be you in the field. Blessed, uh, blessed shall be the fruits of your body, and the fruits of your ground, and the fruits of your beast, the increase of your cattle, and the flock of your and and uh, the young of your flock. You see here, I have highlighted so that you can see uh, those scriptures very easily. Uh, the Bible is giving all the blessings that as children of God we can get. But here the key thing is in verse 1. If you obey the voice of the Lord diligently. So here the Bible is talking about obedience to the word of the Lord, to the voice of the Lord. And God take the issue of obedience so serious. That is why he says that obedience is better than a sacrifice. All these are the blessings. The Lord will establish you as his as as people, as a people of holy nation. All these are blessings. The Lord shall cause your enemy to who will rise up against you to be defeated. I mean, there are many blessings that God has promised us as his children. But the key thing is to obey his voice. If you fail to obey his voice, then you are not going to get this blessing. So it is important to understand that in this scripture, if you read all this Bible, all these books in the Bible, there are things that we have instructed by God to do, and we need to do them so that we can be blessed, so that we can receive the blessings of the Lord. You know what happened to Jonah when he refused to obey the voice of the Lord? He went there by force. So all these blessings are our blessings if you obey the voice of the Lord. But unfortunately, if you fail to understand and to obey the voice of the Lord, all these blessings from verse 15, they shall be refused. You see? <laughs> so if you fail to obey, and that's what the Bible says there from verse 15. But if you, you will not obey the voice of the Lord your God, be watchful to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, all these curses shall be upon you. You see, eh, you shall be cursed. So we need to obey the voice. We need to obey the voice of the Lord. We need to obey His word so that we can claim blessing. If you fail to do that, then what we are going to get as a result of disobedience are curses. All the blessings that we have seen from first one up to first, first uh, Nini shall be a fast. God bless. You.